Hi, I'm Nick Kazakis, and this is Liam Kelly, and we're the directors of the Bad Child music video by Tones and I. It's been a really hectic three days. Uh, we had a two-day shoot uh, out on location in this amazing mansion out in country Victoria, and then we had a day down at Revolution Studio down here in Port Melbourne. And three, two, one, action! Yeah, it's just been amazing. We've had a really great crew. We've been lucky to have a fantastic cast. You're it. <laughs> there was a moment when we did in rehearsal, where it's just like, you're it, but don't peek, okay? I've got you. <laughs> no peeking. Yeah, who's it take? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're just really lucky to uh, to be surrounded by a great team and a uh, supportive team over at Sony and just with Tones, it's been fantastic. She's been so awesome to help us get this uh, concept over the line. She started off with the idea and then we just kind of helped develop it, but it's been sort of like a really cool co-collaboration with her style and us trying to interject our flavour into it. Just uh, editing on the fly so that we can make sure we've got everything. So it's looking good. We're working with DaVinci for a little bit now. It's just so much easier with all this red footage that we've had to process. Um, with such large files, like chucking into DaVinci has been pretty easy. I'm Carl Allison, I'm the director of photography for this project, uh, so I'm in charge of all things camera and lighting. We chose two different cameras for this shoot. We've got the Red Monstro uh, because of the VistaVision size sensor. We're also shooting with the Phantom Flex for the super slow-mo falling scenes. We're able to deconstruct the camera and have it on a Movi Pro or a Bolt like we have here. The beauty of the Monstro also is able to pack a large VistaVision sensor in a tiny lightweight carbon fiber body. My name is Tim Whiting, I'm the post-production supervisor on Bad Child by Tones and I. We're recording the live stream from the camera and compositing individual resolve while we're shooting, so we're getting almost real-time feedback on whether or not the shot's going to work. So today we've got Tom David and he's just unreal. He's just been setting it all up for us, pre-programming. We're doing a lot of it on the fly, which we would normally have a day of pre-programming, but because of the tight schedule and the tight release that we want to get this out on, yeah, he's just been amazing. Today we're working on this fantastic shot uh, where our actor is dealing with himself in the mirror. So we're, we're doing multiple passes with the robot. He's able to repeat the move over and over and over again with pixel precision. So once the move's set, the director can just concentrate on getting the action right and there's, there's no technical issues that are going to interfere with the shot. Everything is just so smooth and you can just do these cinematic moves that you wouldn't be able to do really with a human arm. It's been great so far. We've had some uh, live comping on set, so that's given us the ability to be able to monitor our shots as we go. Your hands like this instead of like this, and you're just reaching out too far, all right? Make sure that we've captured everything we need to before we move on, and uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. We're ready to go, action! The people at Sony and Electra have been so awesome and Tones has just been across the whole concept. So the good thing was is that she was really happy for us to push the boundaries with the visuals and it really pushed us to the limit. And uh, yeah, I think we've got something really special. Yeah.